please watch part one of this series for things to make sense in this video. Now we continue our explanation of support vector machines. We tried to formalize them uh, in the last video. Now um, the Euclidean distance r between a point x and the decision boundary is parallel to the weight vector with a unit vector in this direction uh, is uh, the w, uh, you know the weight vector over the magnitude of that vector. So if we look at the figure now, the green line is just a translation of the vector r w over the magnitude of w. If you have a look here, if, if you find the distance between that point x and our plane r, then that vector and this vector, as you can see, they are parallel and uh, the green light is just a translation of the value of distance r times w over the magnitude of w, this vector here. Now, x bar is the point on the plane closest to x. So, x bar here, or x prime, is the closest point on the plane to the point x, and we can find the value of that point by x bar equals x minus y r times w over the magnitude of w, that's the unit vector if you remember. The reason we multiply by r, uh, or the uh, uh, the idea behind it is that it just changes the sign for the two cases of the uh, uh, vector x being on either side of the decision surface. So uh, I, y here can be either minus 1 or plus 1 for a point to be on one side or the opposite side of the plane. Now since x prime lies on the decision boundary, then it should satisfy the equation or the formula for that boundary. It should satisfy W transpose x plus b equals 0 and therefore using the two equations we just plug this there we can find that W transpose t times x minus y r uh, or, uh, times the unit vector of W plus b equals 0 and hence we can just solve for r and we can conclude that r equals y times W transpose x plus b over the magnitude of w. So remember this is how we find the um, unit vector uh, as we mentioned before. Just basic information about vector and um, vector algebra. Now going back here, that's the distance. Ah, we mentioned before x prime is the closest point to x and that's the equation of our uh, hyperplane. We mentioned that the weight vector is perpendicular to that plane. Points here belong to the positive class. Points here belong to the negative class. Now, if we compute R for a support vector for one of these two points, let's say either this or this, then the margin width, the total width of the margin is 2 is 2 times R, is twice the value of that distance. So we compute the distance between this and this, and the total margin will be twice that distance. Bear that in mind. Also bear in mind that the margin is invariant to scaling of parameters because it's normalized by the length or the norm of the weight vector. Uh, um, um, invariant to scaling of parameters, what that means is if in this equation we multiply by 10, let's say, so that becomes 10 wx plus 10b equals 0, that doesn't actually change anything in our uh, 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 plane. Therefore, we could use the unit vectors by requiring that the magnitude of w equals 1. So the magnitude of the weight vector equals 1. For the magnitude or the norm, sometimes people use double bars rather than one bar. That's just the same thing. Now, we also can require that the margin of all data points is at least 1 and that it's equal to 1 for at least one data vector. So the margin here will be a minimum of 1. It can be a minimum of 1 for at least one point. Which point is that? It's the, it's the support point or the, or the support vector. So the distance r for the support vector from the hyperplane is 1 and in this direction is also uh, 1. That What that means is uh, yi times w transpose xi plus b is at least 1 so it's greater than or equal to 1. yi is the class of the point and xi is the point or the uh, vector that we have. Now, because each example's distance from the hyperplane is ri equals, that's how we compute r, we've seen that before, then using the equations we saw before, the equations for um, 
the distance that for, for support vector is a minimum of 1 and the equation for finding the R we can conclude that um, the total margin width is 2 over the magnitude of W why? because as we mentioned find R for the support vector and the total margin width is 2 times R and we said that R for the support vector is 1 so what that means is uh, if we go back here that value will be 1 for the support vector so R for the support vector is 1 over the magnitude of W and the total width is twice that value so we just multiply by 2 we end up with 2 over uh, the magnitude of W now if we look at Professor Said Said's uh, uh, website the derivation is slightly different but we uh, we reach uh, we end or we uh, I'm sorry reach the same conclusion what he tries to do is instead of computing the distance between the support vector and the plane he directly computes the distance between the two support vectors and that's what that means uh, so w x2 plus b equals 1 and w x1 plus b equals minus 1 one of them is uh, from class positive the other one is from class negative and then if we subtract this from this we uh, uh, end up with this wx2 minus wx1 equals 2 and then if we just um, uh, divide by the magnitude of w then we reach that so we that's the distance um, between the two closest points uh, or the two support points and that's the width of the margin so the idea now becomes we want to maximize that margin and what that means is um, <coughs> if we sort of minimize the values of W or the opposite of that um, we'll come to that in a minute now <coughs> what we want is we want to maximize 2 over the magnitude of W such that for all points from the, from the positive class if we plug any point from the positive class into our equation WX plus B then the value will be a minimum of 1 is greater than or equal 1 and for the negative class for the second class if we plug in any point to the equation then the value will be a maximum of minus 1 so it always less than or equal minus 1 but maximizing 2 over the magnitude of W is the same as minimizing the magnitude of W over 2 so we just divide by 1, uh, one over that uh, and from that we conclude that support vector machines it becomes a minimization problem we try to minimize this magnitude such that yi times uh, wxi plus b is always at least one greater than or equal one for all the values of xi so that means for all values of xi for any point um, <coughs> we multiply by yi because we can have either negative or positive classes and if we plug in any point in there with its class and its uh, uh, values for the vector then the distance of that value will be at least one is always greater than equals one luckily uh, we uh, this problem becomes uh, optimizing a quadratic function subject to linear constraints and quadratic optimization problems are a standard well-known class of mathematical optimization problem and many algorithms exist for solving them as we mentioned before we have really smart mathematicians and there are solutions to solve that so that in general is how support vector machines work the problem becomes a, an, an optimization problem and what we want to do is we want to maximize the width of the margin that uh, separates the two classes remember we're using it now for binary classification and our uh, our classes are linearly separable I'm going to stop here thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video